Hi, welcome to Finnis. My name is Mark Finney and I'm here to show you how to finish wood beautifully. In this video, we're going to have a look at how to stop pine going orange. Uh, we do tend to find that a lot of customers, a lot of our customers, don't like the orangey tone that pine goes to. I can demonstrate that on this old piece of pine here. If we put a finish just onto it, you can actually see that it actually starts to go a little bit more goldeny. And we can avoid that, we can stop that from happening by putting um, a stain onto this new piece of pine here. This new piece of pine will actually darken to this, uh, the same as this older piece. Um, and to stop that from happening, we've just got to go through a little bit of a process. The first thing to do is to get uh, a good quality white dye, like this, give it a good shake up. And we just need to put it into a pot in there. Now this white dye will be quite a, a strong white, it will come out almost like the colour of white paint, so we obviously don't want that. But if we actually um, can water it down, that will then give us the tone that we need on this particular piece of wood. Um, the, the only finish that we can actually use is a, a water-based finish because otherwise any other kind of finish, or, a, or rather not even water-based, an actual acrylic finish, because any other kind of finish will actually start to go yellow and we get the same problem starting to come through. So what we need to uh, do, because the acrylic is water-based and because the stains are water-based, we just need to put a little bit of acrylic into this stain. So here's a, a, a good acrylic again. Give it a good shake up. And we'll pop a little bit of that in here. And what that does is it just acts about 15, 20%. I'm not measuring it. Um, and that will just give us um, a, a binding agent so that when we put the finish on, it doesn't actually lift all the colour off and all the work that we've been doing. So we'll just give that a good stir up. And then we just do a little bit of a test that will have watered it down a little bit. Just pop that in there. Um, to make it lighter still, if this is too too strong still, we can just put a little bit of tap water in once we've put that bit of acrylic. So we'll just water it right down. Water it as much as you like. Again, give it a little bit of a stir. So all that's in this pot now is just the white dye. A little bit of acrylic just to glue it all to the surface and a little bit of water just so that we can lighten it all off. And then if we get a bit of cloth, we can stain this piece of wood. We've previously sanded this using some 120 grit high cut paper, um, which that doesn't leave any scratches. And if we just basically pop this stain on, very, very simple process. If you wanted to wear um, a latex glove or a vinyl glove just to stop your fingers, but there's nothing harmful in here at all. I'm quite happy to do it just with my bare fingers. And we just put it onto the wood. And just work it into the surface. Now I'll not do the whole piece of timber, but once we've rubbed it in, We just need another little bit of cloth and we just roll all that excess off. And you should already be able to see, if I hold that up, that it's just making it just that shade lighter and that actually acts like a filter so that when this piece of pine does actually darken, like this one has, um, then it doesn't darken anywhere near as much and it just keeps it a lot paler, almost like the colour of spruce. So we'll just leave that to dry. Uh, it'll take around about an hour. Um, so then I'll show you how to put a little bit of acrylic just on top of it. And we could even perhaps wax it as well afterwards, but we do have to use a certain kind of wax and I'll just explain that in a moment. So now the wood has been stained. We've just stained the uh, end of it just so we can sort of see the difference between where we've put the stain on and where the actual original pine uh, is. Um, we need to protect that, we need to seal that in, and for that we're going to use an acrylic varnish. 
and if we use any other kind of finish it'll actually change the colour of the wood, it'll actually start to darken um, and we don't want that to happen, we do want it to stay nice and pale as time goes on. So we're just going to give that a good shake up and we're going to pour a bit of that into the pot. Put the lid back on that. And then with a synthetic brush, which is a very nice bristle brush, we'll just take all the excess off and we just put a nice thin coat onto the surface. Just cover this one short end. So that's now just finished it to the end, and we just leave that for another hour. So now the um, acrylic has dried. If you do this yourself, or when you do this yourself, you'll actually notice that there's a very, very slight texture on the surface. So the next stage is just to knock that back flat. But if you sand it too much, obviously you'll start to take some of that colour out. So if we just use a little bit of 400 wet and dry paper, just use dry, we can just take that down with our hands, just knock that top off very, very lightly. Just do the whole surface. And that's a nice smooth surface again. We just get a tack rag, which is a very sticky little cloth. Wipe that over so there's no dust on it. You can even use this for dusting your furniture. Very simple sticky little cloth. We've got a lovely smooth finish there now. And then we just put another coat of acrylic on to cover the whole surface. You can choose different sheen levels. This particular one is a matte finish, but you can actually use satin finishes so you can make it a bit shinier. And we just start again and cover that surface like we did before. So now we've put the second coat on, and that's lovely and smooth. And you should see a slightly lighter, whiter uh, look on this part where we've uh, actually put the white dye on two coats of the acrylic as opposed to this. And as this wood darkens, um, what we'll end up with it will darken just naturally back to this kind of natural pine or spruce tone as opposed to this very orange tone that we get on old pine, how it goes um, normally. Um, another thing that we can do, if we're doing some lovely furniture, or if you can do it if you're doing some really nice furniture, is to put a wax on here. But again, it has to be a special kind of wax um, in the sense that if you use a beeswax, the beeswax will actually send everything that you've done, all the work that you've done so far, again to an orangey tone. So this time we're going to use a microcrystalline wax, which is a light petroleum wax. And all we're going to do this time, just to finish it off, is just use a really nice uh, four notes wire wool, dip that into the wax. You don't have to do this. Um, if you wanted it just to finish as a varnished finish, you can leave it as that. If you want it to be really silky and impress all your friends, then you can actually uh, put the wax on with the wire wool, just put plenty of wax on the wire wool, rub it into the surface. Just put plenty on, don't be scared of it at all. So you do the whole board or the whole piece of furniture. And then uh, we'd leave that for about three or four minutes, that's all. We'll just leave, we'll just book it up straight away here, but we can just leave it a few minutes and then we just give it a real good buffet. Just turn your cloth round. And that is now a really, really silky smooth finish. Beautiful. And that's as simple as that. So it's a stain, two coats of the finish of the acrylic just to seal it all in. And then if you want to, a wax polish just afterwards just makes it feel really nice. If you use these on floors, then don't put the wax on because it will make it too slippy. But other than that, um, it's absolutely a beautiful finish.